All righty, it is now 8.30, and I see that some of you have already rolled in. Thank you for stopping on by. Today, that is not what I wanted to show you. Today, <laughs> I am creating Halloween Icons Part 2. And today's card, whoa, is this right here. It's a witch's hat with a little cat on top of it. And how many times... Fine. Yes, a black kitty that's technically a skunk with a white stripe on the back is perfectly fine as a pet. <laughs> Can I give it on to the stream? That would that be okay, Devlin? That would be great. Hi. <laughs> Today's project, I'm going to be showing you how to make this Halloween. You see that you're still doing it. You see that, Devlin? I was trying to do my intro. You're not helping me. I love you, man, but you got to let me do my thing. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm going to have a heart attack. All right. This is what? Take three? <laughs> All right. <coughs> I think I got that out of my system. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. I need to get myself some spice, uh, pumpkin spice uh, tea. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm really craving some pumpkin spice tea. Mm. Anyway. Hi, everyone. Thanks for stopping on by. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to make Halloween icons part two. And today's card is going to be a four by four. I was thinking actually a five by four. So it can fit into a standard A2 size card. But this one right here is a 4x4. Four four. Um, I'm going to show you how to create the witch's hat, the little flower, the cat, and about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 other images for Halloween icons. The things that you may need. Uh, for this one, I didn't shade it and it looks a little flat. So for this time around, I'm going to shade and I'll be using my color blocks. I have two different kinds. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. And they've been with me for years. They don't dry out easily, which I love. Some pop dots. We have some glue. We have our trusty blue painter's tape. Uh, Double-sided sided adhesive. Of course, some sponge. You can use sponge daubers if you have that. I have two stamps now you don't have to use these stamps these are just the stamps that i'm going to be using you can use whatever you want for your sentiment and your insight did i show that nope i don't think i did so that's my sentiment right there it says happy halloween and on the inside it just has a little fall pumpkin of course you can't do anything without a trusty bone folder your cutting mat and a whole lot of paper stacks. So I'm going to be using some um, scrap orange, scrap purple, a whole lot of white because I have a feeling I'm going to be messing up quite a bit, a whole lot of black, and of course some extra orange on the off chance I mess up, which I probably will. And of course my Cricut machine. And you can't do much without the actual system. So thank you for everyone for stopping on by. Let's see what we can create today. So let's start off. Let me turn down the music just a tad. It's, it's a little loud, at least for me. There we go. So we're going to start with just the hat. Now you can weld these two together. I have them separate because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted anything to pop up with uh, pop dots. So I just kept them separate. So let's just scroll down here, grab ourselves a circle and a triangle. And this one's pretty simple. You just take it off the lock for both of them. And you just elongate one, just like that. And then elongate it again to the size that you want. Let's see. Let's bring you in just a tad. Just a little bit. There we go. Now, for the little belly band, I just take uh, the original square or rectangle, triangle, triangle. Now, it's really up to you 
on how far down you want to go. You can go all the way to the base of the, the hat. You can go a little higher. But for me, I think I want it a little bit exposed at the bottom. But that's just me. You can make this card any way you wish. Any size you wish. So, I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this extra one. However, my original one right here is black. But the card itself, there's a pattern, which I will be adding at the very end. But for now, I'm just leaving it black. I'm giving it a nice little purple stripe. And let's see now, let's line these two up just like so. And I believe I have a little flower of mine, yes. Now the way I went and did my flower, all I did was take it off the lock, get a little circle, elongate it. And I, I think I did it like four times. Grab the whole kitten caboodle and center them. And just to make things easier for myself, I'm going to make them orange. And all I'm doing is I'm just slightly bending, grabbing the next layer, slightly bending, grabbing the next layer, slightly bending. And there we go. And the last layer I'm leaving the way it is and then weld. Perfect. That's my, that's my flower. You can make them as thin or as thick or as multiple petals as you want. But generally this is how I did it to get my flower. Wow, my, it keeps moving. I'm grabbing my another, myself another circle. And I'm doing a white dot right in the middle. And elongate it just a tad. And let's group these two together because I don't want them going anywhere. Okay, there's my hat. My next is my cauldron. Now, if you've seen uh, my YouTube tutorial without going from start to finish, it's the same process. All I'm doing is grabbing myself a circle. And I'm duplicating these so I don't have to go over to the side. And I'm just... Putting one little foot, two little feet, and just to make sure that they're uh, even, I'm going to, is it vertically or horizontally? Mm, let's go vertically. Ah, I was right. And I'm going, to... <laughs> thank you, sunflower. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to uh, weld these two together. And I want to make sure that this circle is in the middle. So I'm going to do center. Perfect. You see how I just slightly moved it over? And then you go weld. Perfect. Now, we need a little top to this. So let's slice off this big old rump. And I think I want it about there. And slice. There we go. Perfect. All right. This needs a little lip. So I'm going to go have a circle and a square. And I'm going to put, take this off the lock and elongate. All right. And I'm just going to put this from side to side. Take this off the lock. And there we go. And do the op it to the opposite side. Ooh, it's slightly off. I can see it. I don't like it. There we go. Just to make sure everything is easy peasy, right in the middle. Uh, is it horizontally? Yes, it is. And weld. I got a nice little jelly bean or sprinkle looking uh, image. And all I'm going to do is just make it smaller there we go and there is our cauldron so far it's not done here let me just take this off and make sure that this is right in the middle 
Uh, vertically? No. Horizontally. I am, it's, I'm notorious for not remember which, which way is horizontally and which one's vertically. All right, that's perfect. It's right in the middle. I'm going to weld this. Now, the reason why I made a duplicate is because if you're doing a cauldron and you say you want the lip to show up a little more, you just change it a bit. Let me make it this completely black. And this one's slightly gray. Wait, how did I do transparent? Uh, weirdness. See, you see how transparent it is? Maybe it's just me. No? Move this back. Oh, okay. No, it's just me. <laughs> like, wait, this does not look right. Now, for whatever reason, once I attach an image to another image, it it's slightly off, even if I duplicate it. So what I'm going to do is just going to Move this to the end and cover that up. No harm, no foul. Just make this just a tiny bit bigger. Now, this kind of also looks like a bathtub. So if you wanted to do this for later, like for a baby shower or new house, whatever, you could just easily turn this white and put maybe a little spigot over here. And the way you do a spigot, something really wow, and it's not going to be like, you know, amazing or anything. It's just a bunch of basic shapes. Add that to that. Although I have to cut this just a little bit. Slice. There you go. Move this back. See? You made yourself a nice little bathtub. It's not 100% perfect, but you get the idea. Yeah, I'm sure if you, uh, you know, really took the time, you can make it look like a bathtub, like one of those old timey lion feet bathtub. All right. What do we need? What are we forgetting on this cauldron? Oh, we need some bubbles and we need some fire for the fire. All I'm going to use is a heart and a circle. Yep. That's all you need is a heart and a circle. I mean, yeah. And I'm going to create myself a little teardrop, weld, and then flip it, which I can't do here. Make this a tiny bit smaller. And let's do some yellow. And some red. Or maybe a dark orange. Yeah, that'll work. A little dark orange. And I need three. One, two, three. Now this guy right here, he needs to come to the front. Like that, like that. And you need to come to the front too. Okay. I'm just going to make this a little smaller. Now you can do the same technique with your silhouette. It's nothing more than basic shapes. Although with the silhouette, you have a little bit more mobility uh, in place uh, points on where you want it and where you don't. Okay, so we got our fire. Let me move it just a little bit more. Bring this down just a tad. And if you remember for my chemistry set, all I did to get the concoction is do a couple of bubbles, little random ones here and there. Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna weld this. 
I'm going to take a square and I'm just going to cut it because there's too much uh, going down going on in the bottom here so I'm just going to grab this and slice all right and let's turn this green did I turn it green nope no I sh sure didn't there we go move this back uh, there we go there you go we got a bubbling brew with a little cauldron now you can add more you can add less you can bring the fire down put a little bit of text under here it's really all up to you on what you want to do with these these icons next I'm going to be showing you two different broomsticks so the first one wait let's see let's do the plain and I believe, how did I get this again? I think it was a circle and two, uh, two triangles. Let's just make this one first. These will always, always, the circle and the square will always uh, fit perfectly. I don't know why that it fits per perfectly, but these are the only two shapes that ever do. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to do the little broom belly band. Turn this a nice little pastel color. And this, I'm going to take this off the lock. Uh, it's a big belly band. Uh, let's make it a little smaller. Say about there. And slice. All right. It's got what I need. Everything else can be thrown away. I'm going to turn this brown. Now, something that I didn't do before, I'm going to put it right there. Now, you can see that these are pretty basic, right? Now, if you want your broom to look just a tad bit more realistic and get added a little bit of detail, I'm going to just make a couple of these. Just a couple, nothing weird. Let's weld these two together. <laughs> Hi, Phoenix. No, I am not throwing away your tombstone. Although you did miss uh, the tombstone icon episode. I did that yesterday. So yeah, I had a little spooky old time there yesterday. All right, that looks pretty uneven, which is good. And I'm gonna slice. I'm gonna move this back and lift this up. And everything else I can throw away. See? You see how uneven everything looks? It looks a little more realistic. TTS is loud? What is TTS? Please explain TTS. I'm not entirely sure what that means. By the way, for the broomstick, if you do the cauldron, all you got to do is the same thing and turn it upside down. There's. Oh, text to speech is loud. Oh, the British guy is loud. I didn't realize that. Can I turn him down somehow? Um, I don't know how to turn him down. It's a different, it's like a web-based thing. It doesn't give me, uh, what face? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the British guy is a little loud. All right. As you can see, this broomstick is a little too thin or the bottom is a little too big. So I'm just gonna adjust it here at the bottom to fit my broomstick. Ta-da! Now I'm gonna use the same broomstick for the next one. So let's just make this a little bit smaller so it could fit everything else. All right, that's my first broom. 
Next, I'm going to use a circle. And I think I used two diamonds. I think so. I don't remember. I'm just going to elongate this just a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. I should have gone back to my old tutorials to review it, but I don't remember. All right, weld. But it looks somewhat similar. I'm not going to deny that. All right, I'm going to do the same thing as I did for this broom. I'm just going to grab myself a square and create a belly band. And I think I'm going to do it a little thinner, like right there. And slice. All right, I'm going to give them the same colors as my previous broom. And I'm going to give this one a brown. There we go. There we go. We got a broom. And just to make it about the same height as the other one. It kind of reminds me of one of those little Mickey Mouse brooms, uh, Mickey Mouse brooms, uh, like the wizard. It kind of reminds me of that. N not 100%, but just a little bit. Okay, so we got our brooms. We got our cauldron. We got our witch's hat. What else we got? Oh, a candle. You can't have that candle. We got a circle. Got some squares. I need my pentagon tool and a heart. Get all my shapes going on here. Yeah, this is a lot of shapes for such a small area. All right, I have to duplicate this square and bring this to the top. Take it off the lock and elongate it just a tad and slice. Okay, I don't need this, this, this. Just need this. Thing. Why are they for Melody? Uh, these are just Halloween icons that you can actually create for um, Halloween using Cricut Design Space. However, to, after I'm done with all of these um, icons, I'm going to be creating this card. Now, the previous uh, card that I did, which I don't have with me, I did Halloween Icons Part 1. This is Part 2. So if you want to check that out, uh, it's currently in Twitch. And if you miss it, it will be posted on YouTube on Wednesday or Saturday. So you don't have, you don't have to miss out. You can find it at Unique Designs by Monica on YouTube. All right. Where? Oh, okay. So let's make the Hocus Pocus uh, black candle, as I would like to call it. So we got this little guy right here this is my candle and i think i use silver no i use black you know but this time around i'm gonna do it silver or gray whatever <laughs> one of those colors and of course the black candle is black i'm gonna have myself a little wick bring that over here come on now Bring it over here. There we go. Good, good. I'm going to move this back. Move this back. And I'm going to give it a nice, also, gray wick. So it stands out. Now, for the flame, you can easily just take it from here. I'm going to grab my flame from here. But if I remember correctly, the flame in the movie, it was purple, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. Make it a nice darker purple in the middle. All right. What, the flame was black or the flame was purple? Or the candle was black? Or you have to be a little bit more specific other than just blurting out black. <laughs> All right, for the handle. Oh, oh, okay. You know, 
I'll I'll do that. I'll do black, but the center of it I'm leaving purple for my personal aesthetics. You know, because that's how I do. All right, for the handle, I don't think I really need this guy anymore because I grabbed my flame from up here. I'm going to grab my heart and I'm just, I want this nice little curve for my handle. And I think I want it like right there. But, 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 I also need to cover up this section right here. These two need to be welded, and I'll tell you why. If they are not, when I slice it, it's going to be... Oh, okay. Devlin says, actually, the correction of the candle is white or ivory, and the, and the flame was black centered with orange on this side. Okay. Good job. Thanks for looking that up, up for me. Black with orange in the middle. Sure. We'll go with that. All right. I'm going to slice this. There we go. There's our handle. Now. Oh, yeah. Devlin's my husband. He comes on every stream. He's he loves to torment me <laughs> at every turn. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna slide well Okay, you're not <laughs> Oh hail me. Thank you, Devlin. <laughs> hmm. All right, as you guys saw, I just attached the handle because, you know, every witch needs to have a little handle to hold her candle. And regardless of what what the Hocus Pocus candle was, just look it up, find the right color, and let it be on your card if you wish. Now, I want mine to be just like that. I'm going to put it right there. We have our witch's hat, witch's cauldron. We have our broomsticks. We have our candle. And of course, we can't have Halloween without a ghost. So we got ourselves a circle. And I believe I used, I used a pentagon and some triangles for this. So for my pentagon, pentagon I am going to grab myself a square and slice it off. Just like so. And slice. Oh, not weld. No, no, no. no don't weld. Don't weld. Slice. Oh, that was my bad. <laughs> yes, he's my own personal troll that I married. <laughs> Thank you for asking, Mr. Flower. Yes, I do get annoyed with my husband from time to time, but it's all in jest. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's like always. Here, so let me weld these two together. Okay, and I just want to make sure. Let's get a little closer here. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Melody. Thank you for the madness, because, you know, this is what ends up happening at every stream. The madness never stops. All right. All I'm doing now is just grabbing myself some triangles, and I'm going to place them here and there. I'm going to create all of these and weld. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for allowing the madness. Now, as you can see, there's a little just a little discrepancy here. Not going to happen on my watch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my triangle. Grab my other triangle. There we go. 
and I'm going to weld these two triangles together and then I'm going to slice because I'm not all about this madness. It has to be, you know, symmetrical. All right. There's, it's all gone. There's my ghost. I'm going to turn it nice and white. And then I'm going to. Oh, oh no, sweetheart, you can use this. I have 3D projects you can do with your Cricut from start to finish using nothing more than basic shapes. Go check out my YouTube. It has everything on there. I mean, I make you guys use your Cricut because it's, it's a shame that people only use it for vinyl. All right, there's my little eyes and I want my little ghost to go, woo. Technically, I didn't need another circle. I could just grab another one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let me move back out. Out, out, out. 100%. Am I at 100%? Yeah. So there's my ghost. Now, you can cut through the, 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 the ghost. So if you are doing this with vinyl, you can see it through your shirt. But primarily, you can use this as an embellishment. You can put this on a bow, like a little girl's Halloween bow. I mean, you can do so much with these. All right. So we got the hat, the cauldron, the broomsticks. We have already... Oh, I forgot to put the little melting thingy. All right. Let me show you this really quick. I'm going to grab the tear from the cauldron here, and I'm going to flip it. I forgot to do the little melting wax. So I'm just going to stretch this out just a little bit and make them different sizes. Let me grab this one over here. And I'm going to bring it right here. This is a little too big, so let me adjust it and weld. There we go. So here's the melty wax. I almost forgot about that. All right, we got our candle. We got our ghost. Oh, my cats. Okay, one of my cats here is going to go on my card, and it's going to be this guy right here. This is the 2020 upgrade. The one that I have on my uh, YouTube is 2019. So this is a added bonus. So is the sign. The sign, the cat, and this broomstick is the 2020 version so let's start with the first cat where are you going seriously where are you going <laughs> all right first things first i need a circle i mean a heart i'm gonna need a circle i'm gonna take this off the lock and elongate it just a little bit and i'm gonna put that right on top you guys seeing what i'm doing here you see it you see how this is starting to look a little bit like a cat. Next, I'm going to grab myself another circle and make it a little bit tiny. Just like that. And I need some ears. So I'm going to grab myself a triangle and I'm going to put it one left and I'm going to flip it one right. And I'm going to just grab all of these and weld. I'm also going to duplicate this. I'm going to grab my head and my body and weld. Now the reason I did this is say if you have a little action wobble and you want to put it right here on the head and you want the head to shake. So let's put this to the front. Yeah. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Actually, it was. Yeah, I did. I did have my cricket. My like the old cricket, back in two thousand uh, two thousand and seven, and even then I was creating my own 
uh, images because I didn't want to pay for them. Not that I was trying to be cheap, to be honest. It's just I didn't have enough to pay like 99 cents here or a dollar there, two dollars here for things that I saw. So let's weld all these together. Let me, there we go. Here are my feet. Okay. Now you could easily turn this one into an owl too. I mean, it has the same characteristics. You just don't add the ears and put a little beak instead of a, you know, a little circle. So a triangle for the beak. All right. I need my tail. And just like the candle, all I'm going to do is grab myself a heart. And I kind of want mine to have a nice little swoosh on there. But if I slice it right now, just as it is, like this. Look at that. That comes with it. You have to get rid of that before you before you do anything else. Let me go back just a little more. So to prevent extra work for me, which technically I guess it's still the same kind of work, I'm gonna get a circle, my heart, and I'm gonna weld, and then I'm gonna slice. So all I have to do is just take everything else out. And here's my little, my little tail. Now, if you feel like your tail is just not working for you, you can always manipulate it. And I think I kind of want it like that. Now, I want to put it closer to the feet. And I'm going to... right mm -hmm. yeah I'm I'm not saying that I'm cheap I'm not and I understand that sunflower it it gets pretty pricey mm-hmm <laughs> well it's not that hard, you guys. It really isn't. <sighs> Stop pimping me out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can understand you guys. Melly Sunflower. I totally get it. I mean, I, when I first started, it was just for simple things. You will too, Devlin. I will make you. Mmm. All right, I was using it to cut out basic stuff, just basic. All right. Okay, no problem. Oh, help me. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, coffee cups. I just recently did coffee cups. You can check it out in my Unique Designs by Monica. I show at least, what, 12 different coffee cups and travel mugs using nothing more than basic shapes. Where are you going? Did you see that? Do you see how it just keeps going up and down on its own? That's weird. All right. For the chains right here these chains right here all i did is grab my circle which i just took out of center all i did is take it off the lock and along elongate it <laughs> just like that and slice that's it Ooh, infusible inks I haven't done that as of yet. Uh, my specialty is just creating the SVG for Cricut using Cricut uh, software. I have not used the infusible ink. Although, if I had to re recommend anyone, I would do Jennifer Maker or um, Tanner Bell. Both of those YouTubers do a phenomenal job uh, showing how to do infusible ink. All right. 
right? Jennifer is so awesome. She's so relatable. I mean, and she's she goes step by step. And Tanner Bell is pretty good too. I I will honestly they he has a great staff and he he's so quirky to watch honestly. All right, as you can see, all I did was just copy and paste, copy and paste. I do have Discord, however, I don't really use it because honestly, there was there's not a lot of crafty people that I talk to on Discord. It's more so used for games. <gasps> what? I do have a Discord. I just don't use it. It's it's not something that I I use regularly. All right, I got my chains. And now I'm going to be making my sign. So I'm just going to grab myself a square. It's good to be square. Technically, I'm more round <laughs> than a square. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just cut this. Let me just move this up a little. I don't want anything to happen. I'm going to slice. Okay, that's perfect. All right, I'm going to turn. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to turn this brown and I'm going to turn this gray. If you guys want me to create something for you, let me know and I will figure it out how to create it and then show it on the next stream. Because I know everyone has like a hard time trying to figure out to do something and there's not a lot of tutorials on how to show you how to create your own SVGs using Cricut. They'll, they'll show you, oh, use this program or use this program. Let me turn this 90 degrees. Oh, you can, uh, I would highly recommend doing Inkscape. The only thing, it's a pain in the rear to learn. It's not, it's not user friendly, if you know what I mean. It took me forever to learn Inkscape and it's worth learning. Don't get me wrong. It's just, uh, it's not as user friendly. That's the word I was looking for. It's not as user friendly. Okay. As you can see, I'm just using the points to this. I know this seems a little, uh, counterintuitive because all I'm doing is using the points. Let me flip this. Oh, wrong way. There we go. I'm just going to put it over here. I'm going to grab both sides and weld. And now I'm going to grab the middle. Did I grab the middle? No, there it is. And slice. And slice. And slice. <laughs> and then move this back. Now, the main reason why I did this. Yes. I would have to agree with Adobe Illustrator. That is a phenomenal um, program to use. But not everybody can use um, Adobe Illustrator. And I, if I remember correctly, you have to pay for Adobe Illustrator. Um, and again, it's it's something that I I don't have the money for. And a lot of people don't. That's why I went with Cricut because it one, the program is free. You can do as many as you want. Now, you don't necessarily have to create get the machine, but it does help if you're if you want to cut something out. I would highly, if I had a choice between the Cricut and the Silhouette, Silhouette 100% because you have a larger range to use um, with shapes. For the Cricut, you're only limited to this. This is your limitation. That's all. Silhouette Basic, you, even, you have a lot more shapes to work with and it's basic and it's free. All right. As you can see, I created a little sign. And honestly, the only reason I did that 
is so you could do like a Harry Potter kind of version, you know, like the two broomsticks or the leaky cauldron. So if you wanted to, you can just weld all this together like that. Weld this, move this to the back. Make this silver. I I think the the sign was was like copper or bronze. I'm not entirely sure. Let's weld these two together like that. Move this back, and I'll do this like a darker, like that. And you can put like a sentiment and put have that as your your card. I mean, you could do so much with these. And I think I just, you know what? I'm going to delete this, bring this back here. <laughs> I just realized I just re well, used my original. Now, for the cat that we're using right here, right here, I have to put it right here is nothing more than also just a bunch of uh, simple shapes put together. Now let me make sure I get this right. Grab myself a circle, elongate it a little bit, give it the body, do another circle, elongate it a little bit, just like that. So far so good weld and of course I need triangles there are a lot of free um, systems out there to create SVGs and I, I gotta tell you if you're gonna use a cutting machine uh, I don't know how to how to give you the right answer for that because each one has its pros and its cons all right let me do the tail for example let me let me just do i'm gonna kind of like a fluffy tail so let's shrink this heart just a little bit like that if you want an excellent software for a cutting machine I would recommend Silhouette. However, the machine is not that great. Sure, it can it can do the job, but it, it would need a couple of passes. For Cricut, their machine is excellent. You, it's one time cut and you're done. However, the, the software is not all that great. It's very uh, rudimentary. It's very basic. All right, let's see. This tail's a little small. There we go. A little higher. About there. And weld. There we go. That's how I got my cat. Just sitting there, chilling out. Doing its thing. All right to make the card I'm going to have to get rid of everything you just check, take your pieces and what I did is I just grabbed my, my hat my cat and then I'm going to do the card alright goodbye fare thee well all of you you too do I have anything else yes this too this one also alright if you do not save, all of your images will come back. You want to save with all the images before you start your project. And that's another thing. With Cricut, I am unable to open a new, uh, uh, I, I have a Discord. I do. But again, I don't use it. I have to remember what I called it because it's been like forever and a day since I used it. <laughs> Alrighty. Where was I? 
Oh, making the card. I need to make the card. All right. I'm going to do mine four by four. And in order to do that, I just grab myself a square. Take it off the lock. And this is where size matters. So I'm going to do eight by four. And this will give you a four by four card. Now you grab a score line and it's perfectly, it doesn't matter where you put it because all I'm going to do is highlight everything and center. Perfect. And I need to make this black before I do anything else. I'm going to have to move this back and attach. It is super important to attach your project when it comes to score lines. Because if you do not, when you actually go to make it, where are you? It will give you this weird score line on its own separate page. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So I have that and I'm going to attach. Now it's not going to go anywhere. It's nowhere. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can ask me here or you can whisper me. I will probably let you know uh, next uh, video, which is tomorrow. I'm streaming tomorrow. It's the same time, eight, uh, 8.30 to 11. Um, and you can, I'll give you all the information or I'll have it in the description below so you can uh, take a look at my Discord. Once I remember what it was called, I honestly had this like... I don't know, 2010, maybe 11 when I started it. And when I started doing video, uh, videos, I thought I was going to have a lot of questions, but nobody really said anything and I haven't used it in years. So, all right, for my card, this is eight, I mean, sorry, three by seven, 75. So, you know what? I can't see... Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. For this, the inside liner, I just grabbed this square, check it, check the, the lock. And I made this 3.75 by 3.75. There we go. And I'm going to turn it white. Now I use the same the same block for the opposite side but I just changed the color what are you doing can I have my white weird do you see that guys there's a phantom block oh that was mean oh, okay all right all righty Okay, so I have the liner, and this one I'm going to turn orange as the outer piece to this. Okay, then I'm just going to grab myself the inner portion, which is 3.6 by 3.6. All it is is just another square size to 3.6. Now, for, I just realized that I didn't save... <laughs> I delete everything. So this right here is my hat that I just recently did. Now, in order to get this pattern paper on here, for example, let's go no fill, black. Uh, go back. Go back. Uh, there we go. There we go. So you want to add pattern to this. Say if you bought a couple of patterns or Cric uh, Cricut is giving free patterns or you created your own SVG pattern and you want it to be added. You highlight the uh, your, your project. You go to no fill and go to print. Now, what this does, it um, removes all the lines. As you can see, you can't see the hat anymore but it's there it's still there and I'm gonna add my own pattern paper to this so I'm gonna go over here 
go to pattern and all of these are my patterns I created these patterns and I'm gonna do let's see hmm I could do green but I didn't have any green paper now now that I've added my pattern this doesn't look like the way I want it to look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one at a time and I'm going to edit the size to make it a, a little larger that looks pretty good and do the same thing with the bottom and then go edit there we go you can line them up if you want just like that I have my flower and everything else so I just wanted to show you how to add pattern to an image so let's take this out take this out and here's our card so let's go to make it it's going to show you this right here and as for me I need to put my white piece of paper let's go right over here Ooh, wrong one I'm going to use white piece of paper and I'm going to put this in my printer thankfully for me my printer is right next to me I'm going to check my white wait a minute where's my little circle no 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 ah there's my circle i didn't change the color to it i want this to be white okay let's go back there's my little circle all right i'm gonna put that right here have my black oh wait i have two different blacks that's not good so I have this black and this black. That's right. Since I have the score line, it's not going to let me. So I have to go on the actual image and push black. There we go. Good. Again, you're not optimizing the way that this should. There we go. Since I have nothing more than eight and a half by 11, I have to be very careful with my my colors all right let's go with the first one let's continue and it's asking me to print sure I'll print how many pages do I want I just want one all right yes I know I'm low on a couple of colors you don't need to show the rest of the world oh you guys can see that okay all I'm doing is just working here I'm going down the line. All right. Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Here we go. So this is my first mat. It's telling me, hey, this is what I want you to do first. I'm like, okay. I'm good with this instructions. And here's where my blue painter tape comes in. Since my mat is notorious for moving around, regardless, regardless, No, you do not. Although you can if you wanted to. But this is the only two images that I print out. It's just the hat. And now it's telling me, hey, can I cut? Yes. Yes, you can. Do your thing. Now, I know you guys can not see this. It's checking for the lines. One. you know <laughs> to be honest I need to restick my mats I just need to look at the right tutorial to do that and there's so many some people use like spray adhesive to restick their mats some people just wash it with a certain solution some people um, put like uh, like a chemical that I've seen. I don't know what it's called, but I need to do more research on it. But I do want to restick my mat. Because honestly, buying a new one of these every three months is ridiculous. Did you cut? Yay! Mm. 
no. I mean, it's really up to you on what you want to get. Like I said, each machine has its pros and cons. Even Brothers Scan and Cut has its pros and cons. Because that is also a cutting machine. Like, uh, the software for Cricut is very rudimentary. The software for Silhouette, mm, beautiful. I love working with it. And you can use it in other locations. You can even sell your own SVGs through Silhouette. However, you are not able to do the same thing with Cricut. You can't sell the SVG because there is no SVG to sell. I just say SVG because people understand what that is. It's a scalable vector graphic. But it's not something you can say, hey, let me sell you this. This work that I've done. You would have to sell the physical product, which, you know, you can. You, you can easily do that. As for me, for my website, I use Silhouette because I can sell those SVGs. All right. What is it asking? Oh, it's asking me just to cut. So it all depends on what you want to do with your Cricut. If you just want to create your own stuff uh, and use it with basic shapes, I'm all for it. If you want to make your own SVGs and sell those SVGs along with what you can make, Silhouette is the way to go. This machine, however, is a lot more powerful than the Silhouette when it comes to cutting power. But again, their software is a, is a bit rudimentary. It's very basic. All right, got my circle, got my, so like I said, pros and cons. Oh, and you, you also want to check out reviews because I've, I have been hearing some bad negative reviews with the maker. I don't know why, but uh, even Tanner Bell was just like, I'm having a hard time with my, my maker and they're sticking with like Explore Air 1. Or Explorer Air 2. And trust me, I was thinking of upgrading my uh, my Cricut to an, a maker. But with all the, uh, the complaints I'm hearing from people, I'm holding off until they actually fix their problems. Alright, I need my black. Like my soul. <laughs> a little nerdy crafter there for you. Right? Uh, I have Explorer 1. Explorer 1 cuts incredibly well. I've he heard that the Explorer Air 2 is just, just as good. And you get two ports. From this one, I only have one port. And tell, I can honestly tell you, it gets pretty daunting. Getting, um, removing and adding the blade. I mean, uh, the, the score scoring tool. So if I did a transition, it's going to be to the Explore Air 2. I don't know why the maker is not, not do, performing so well. Because I don't have one and I can't really testify. But just the reviews. Alright, I'm going to score this baby. All right, that's done. Put this back. And cut. All right. While she's doing her thing, I'm going to show you yesterday's or Monday's project. I'll be right back. All right, she's doing her thing. Now, while she's doing her thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew this was going to happen. Oh, well, all I have to do is cut the cat. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Let's take this out. And let's go cancel. Yes, I would like to cancel. 
and go here, remove, hide this right here, and let's move this over here. Okay. Let's move this down just a smidge. <laughs> yep, and that's why I have my blue painter's tape. But the good thing is you can always go back. You can always go back. All right, ladies, you need to do your job here. Make me look bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is asking me to cut. Okay. That's all I'm going to do is cut here, right here. Can you go here? There you go. All right. All right. Crisis averted. There she is. Uh, where's my other pieces? Oh, right here. All right. Nothing that a good bit of tape can't help. I really need to get this restuckified. This is getting a bit much. Look at all the blue painter's tape that I got going on here. I'm wasting more on blue painter's tape than anything else. Not that, that it's expensive or anything. Blue painter's tape is not that expensive. And you get a lot of bang for your buck. All right. Be gone, black. Who's my next victim? Oh, orange. All right, orange. You know what? I'm going to flip you over this way. Yes, I know this is not really helping, but it makes me feel better. All right, I want to put you here. Yeah. Yeah, there it's no there's no way to avert um bad cutting. And that's only primarily due to the fact that the the mat isn't sticky. If it was sticky, I wouldn't have the problem because that's exactly what ended up happening was it moved upward and the blade got cut. All right, this was one of the the, uh, the SVGs that, or the Cricut files that I did. I did three pumpkins and with Halloween part one, we created this. So all of these, except for the, the stamping, that's all I, all of this is all basic shapes. All right, are we good to go? Yes, we are. Oh no, I forgot to move this down. Oh well, that's not a big of a deal. We just go cancel the project. Yes. I go here, I hide this, and I'll move it down here. I'll continue. All right, let me do that again. Just having all sorts of hiccups today, aren't I? You know, it's good for you with my mistakes. You know exactly what not to do or how to fix it if it does happen to you. Mmm. Oh, spicy tea. That tastes so good. The main thing is not to get upset and then, you know, throughout the whole project, because Lord knows I've done that a couple of times, you just got to persevere and say, well, that happened. Kind of like 2020. Well, that happened. <laughs> you got to persevere and not get stuck with the, okay, life is horrible because it is right now, but it's not a hundred percent that way. And pretty soon, let me do 
Hmm. How many inches is this? This is one inch. You know what? It 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 can do it. It can do it. I'm overthinking. Now, if you continue on, if you continue on doing basic shapes and really work at it on how, just visualize what it would look like. And trial and error is also something you might not get it to work 100%. If you keep at it, you can start doing projects like this. These 3D projects using nothing more than basic shapes. All right, what am I doing? I'm cutting. Right now, I'm working on this one. It's not 100% and it's very, you know, it's very rudimentary. There's no bumps or anything to it. To it. It's very basic. I mean, the hair is basic, the eyes are basic, even the smile is very basic. All right, am I good? Yay! Was that my last one? Yes, it is. All right, no more paper. Let's assemble this puppy. All right, I'm sorry, sweetie. Thank you, Bertha. You've been a big help. Uni! morning how are you doing are you working are you working from home i heard you were working from home now like full time good for you when does that kick in all right i'm folding it folding it all right that's good that's good all right I'm going to grab my orange and before I do anything else, I want to shade this because the last one I did zero shading and it kind of looks a little flat, honestly. So I'm going to do some shading and I think I'm going to use some dark brown on this one. You're probably thinking, why are you, why are you putting dark brown on this? I kind of want to give it a nice little fall. Halloweeny look. And speaking of Halloween, we are not going to be partaking in any of the Halloween festivities of going to door to door this year. I'll be honest, I would like to, but it's not going to happen. Oh. Cool. Unofficially yesterday. <laughs> That's good. Unofficially yesterday. All right. See? Oh, it's looking really grunged. I love it. I love, love, love it. All right. Here comes our double-sided tape. Are you happy that you get to work from home now? I mean, technically what you were doing doesn't require you coming into the office right because it's all computer based all right i'm gonna take that off come on now down boy down now i'm not using glue for this because i don't want any um bumps Glue tends to give you a bit of bumpage or like air pockets when it's dry and it can warp your card. Yeah. I agree. Now, you're going to have two whites. One of them is going to be bigger than the other. You just have to figure out which one that is. And that's my bigger one. Okay, and for this one, I'm just going to use some orange. Here's my orange. Wait, is that red? Is this orange? I'll go with this one. My colors are starting to blend in. There we go. That looks good. Not that you have a big border for this, but it still looks nice. 
and we'll do a side by side comparison. All right, that looks good. And yes, after I'm done using them, I quickly put on the thing back on. I don't want anything to happen with it. Oh, here you are. <clears throat> so do you guys have any questions? Is there anything you guys want me to help you create for my next stream? Because I think after this, yeah, I still have some time. I stream all the way till 11 o'clock. So I'm going to be working on some silhouette stuff. So if you guys want to stick around. And I can show you the difference between the Cricut and the silhouette. All right. My editor is going to have a hard time with me because I'm going to be doing like double streams since I'm on Twitch. I was going to like stop for Cricut and then I'm going to he's going to have to edit for uh, for silhouette. <laughs> All right. Got that going. OK, here are my elements. These are all my elements right here. And let's see, do I want orange or do I want brown? I think I want brown. Yeah, I'm going to use some brown. I really want the sides to pop, even though not a lot of it is showing. <sighs> That's another thing. If you use these little sponge daubers, you're going to get some flakes. I would prefer to have, um, these are not sponge daubers, uh, these are makeup brushes. If you have sponge daubers, which is something that I think Stampin' Up! has, I've used the Stampin' Up! sponge daubers and they're amazing, but <laughs> that being said, they're expensive. <laughs> Your girl has no money for that. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. All right. So. Let's see, I want that down here and that right here. Oh yeah. Do I want it up a little higher? Yeah. Okay, so the only thing I'm going to use glue on is this right here. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I had a dentist appointment yesterday. I totally feel your girl. Thank you for stopping on by, Melody, 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 Melody. I really appreciate it. It makes me my day go faster, knowing you guys are there to keep me company. Hopefully, you have a good dentist appointment. All right, you stuck? Yes. All right, I'm gonna have to get my purple. Now I don't really have purple. Yes, I do. I lie. I have purple. Here's my purple. And it's pretty dark purple too, so it should show up a little bit. Just gonna dab, dab, dab my corners here. Dab, dab, dab. dab, dab. By the way, <laughs> I went on to call my stream yesterday. And he's a great um, uh, Seven Days to Die player. He does other games too, but primarily he, he's been doing Seven Days. And he tells me, oh, I stopped over to your stream. And I'm like mortified. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, just checked out your stream. I'm like, uh, thanks. That's really nice. <laughs> it's just so, I mean, seeing a big streamer like him just pop in and check out my crafting it's like dude I mean I, I don't do anything great all I do is just play with basic shapes and papers and 3d projects <laughs> mm. but I do appreciate him stopping by hmm do I want you know what I do have some white I want to lighten this cat up because right now he's super dark Hmm, should I? You know what, let's... Right? 
right? And it's, oh, you're a streamer too? Go check out Melody, Melody Treasures. She's a streamer. What, what times do you actually uh, stream? So I can check you out. It's, I guess the white isn't necessary. I wonder if I can like uh, rub off some of the white. Yeah, I don't think the white is necessary. And this will dry. This is just a like a baby wipe. And I'm just taking some of the white off. It's nothing, you know, It's it wasn't necessary, honestly. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, I'm miss missing my little flower here. And you know what? I'll try some red. I have a lot of brown. Let's try a little red. Ah, so it's not consistent Fridays and Saturdays every week and Wednesday every, uh, every, every now and then. Okay. You know, after I'm done with stream, I'm going to check you out. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to stalk you. <laughs> I'll be your own personal stalker. Like, oh, Melody's on right now. Yay. I get to see what she's doing. All right. Do I want to do anything with my f middle of my flower? Mm. Maybe a little bit of the orange. I say skeptically in a high pitch voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Thank you, Phoenix. That's a very good question. What do you stream? Do you play games? Do you craft? Do you do jewelry? Do you fa do fanciness? Okay, let's see. You know what? I need some pop dots. And there you are. Melody. Melody Treasures. I heard that you also do Etsy and vinyl. Do you have like an Etsy? Or did you say you sell stuff and I just assumed it was Etsy? That's probably the... Man, my goodness, I don't have a steady hand today. Not that I normally have a steady hand. I think I shake more, more often these days. It's all that caffeine. <laughs> Gotta have more caffeine. All right, I'm gonna put you right here. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking real nice. Wait, if I put this here, is that gonna interrupt with my, probably. Let's do my stamping first before I put my kitty down. I have a feeling that the kitty is gonna be hindering me a bit. All right, let's do some orange. That's not my orange. There we go. Oh no, I put this upside down. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh. Cool. All right. Hopefully I don't have this backwards and upside down. It's been known to happen, guys. All right. Ta-da. I did it right. <laughs> this is Happy Halloween on there. Awesome. That is amazing. I didn't mess up. All right. Let's clean this off. You always want to clean your mat, uh, your stamps right away. Unless it stamp stays on, then you're going to have to use like some major chemical edge to get that stuff off. All right, let's do the inside since I already have my stamps before I put my little kitty on. And of course, I didn't add my my insert like a total noob. 
There you go. Alrighty. Well, that's good to know. I'll check. Definitely be, def definitely be checking your stream out. I'll be checking your Etsy out. Because I always love checking some stuff out on Etsy. And I don't do friendship bracelets. Because, you know. I'm not that great. <laughs> I'm not that coordinated when it comes to ribbons and things like that. That's why it's primarily stick to vinyl and 3D projects. All right. What was I doing? Oh, stamping. <sighs> Seriously, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. Oh, yeah. Uni, me, Devlin, the whole pack will come on over. We'll lurk you for a while. We'll stalk you. And say, ooh, cool. And there we go. There's my little pumpkin. Is it, is it off? I can't tell. Yeah, it's off. Alright, so I got my stamping done. Now to add my cat. Let me move this out of the way. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Oh, that's right. What time zone? See, uh, oh, uh, Central Standard Time. I'm, we're in Central Standard Time. We're in Tennessee. What, whereabouts are you, you located? Oh, that's some good tea. All right. There we go. There we go. We're done. Let's see. Let's compare the, the first one to the, this this one right here. I know there's not really much of a difference. I mean, this one's a, the hat's a tiny bit bigger, but this one has shading and this one does not. So if you want a, a clean look, it really all depends on what you want. But overall, there you go. You got two Halloween simple, just like that, cards that you can send out to people using nothing more than basic shapes. So if you want more tutorials, feel free to check here on Twitch. They should be still available for one more week. Kitties! I know. <laughs> but if you don't want to miss anything, uh, I post every Wednesday and Saturday over on YouTube. Over at UniqueDesignsByMonica.com YouTube. Thank you so much everyone for stopping on by. I really do appreciate it. I hope you learned something today. If you have a Cricut use it um you know you have a whole plethora of of images you can probably make using nothing more than basic shapes thank you so much everyone for stopping on by have a good day